Welcome guys to HSR Daily Guide with me, Panglima Kegelapan. Today's topic is about Han Mart 7 build for F2P and casual player. So, uh, I will gonna uh, 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 straight to the, uh, to the topic. So, for her, uh, you, you just need uh, around 3k HP. Uh, a 3k attack, 1k defense, uh, speed is around 134 or more than 160 it based uh, on how you want to build her but uh, 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 how can I say Mars 7 is basically uh, a grid based fast sub DPS what I mean by that so basically you need to uh, put a lot of a uh, create a uh, base thingy for her in here uh it's gonna be a uh, higher later on because i'm not uh, building her yet uh like fully yet but yeah uh what I, what i see in her around 60 to 70 you already have a good grit rate so you don't need a high grit rate uh for example like akron you need a like higher uh, crit rate like around 75 to 85 ish but for her 60 to 70 is a uh, good enough so after you have a good enough crit rate you just uh, put a lot of uh, critical damage and there is gonna be a break effect too uh, later on i will talk about it so yeah and also uh if you don't want to become uh player that uh, making her as a, a fast a character is okay there's gonna be uh, another thing that i gonna talk talk about it so but for me uh, i just wanted to uh, follow how her uh, default build is that uh yeah uh, she, uh, she becoming a uh, grid based fast sub dps so the next one is gonna be uh, her light con absolutely man this is the absolute have to be a friendly light con Christine in the cellar C. This is really good. Uh, if you want to uh, be uh, making her a crit base, break base, uh, or just uh, whatever you want to uh, making her, this is like a good uh, uh, light con. This is really good, really, really good. A lot of attack, uh, crit rate, extra crit rate. This is really, really good. With this light con, uh, you, you you almost guarantee have a crit rate as long as you have a you know, a crit rate uh, from the relic. Uh, so uh, let's say that you want to using this uh, light con on other char character. So there is another light con that you can use for her. This light con is uh, st uh, we start uh, with a four star light con. The one that I'm uh, recommending is a uh, short play. There is no crit in here, but this is just pure damage. Pure damage. If you want to using this light coin, you, you need to put a lot of uh, crit in the relic, uh, in her relic. So if you don't have a good enough relic, uh, crit rate from the relic, this this is a bit tough. Uh, yeah, this is a bit tough uh, light coin for you. There's another uh, four star light con that you can use if you have it. I already make a video about it, so I will put in in the top uh, right corner about uh, this uh, next light con. The next light con is gonna be subscribe for more. I know it, man. A lot of people just forget about this uh, light con because almost no one can using this light con. But uh, this is uh, different from March Seven. Because uh, Mars 7 Ultimate, it sucks. <laughs> I mean, really, really sucks. So, you can using this light con. This light con is really good. Like, it's almost like uh, giving you almost 100% damage. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, there's a caveat. Uh, the skill uh, is only uh, affecting her uh, basic attack. The skill is going gonna, is gonna to be wasted. So, yeah. You, and also, you need to not using her ultimate at all to have 100 almost 100 damage uh you think maybe 
ah man i want to using her ultimate not yet because uh, uh for the date that this uh video being upload we don't have access for her uh, six uh light con i don't know when but it's gonna be happening soon but for now uh we just have a three uh eidolon and so far the the top three top three is uh quite good especially number two number two is really really good number two is really good so it's gonna be making uh some kind of a uh, follow-up so it's help a bit for her uh rotation uh, the no okay the idol number one is uh really useful if you are want to uh build her as a fast sub dps but if you uh have like uh for example 124 speed this one is gonna be a uh, help a bit yeah help a bit like uh for reaching like a bare minimum 134 something like that number four is not very good like just uh extra some uh, energy and number six is uh, making her ultimate uh, less sucks it's not a uh, uh, making the ultimate itself a uh, good but it's gonna be a uh, uh, like buffing the next and has been uh, basic attack so the ultimate is still sucks <laughs> that's why uh, I'm recommending <laughs> a subscribe for more uh, for early uh, early uh, early bit build if you don't have a sword play or another five star character that i'm gonna show you right now so for the five star uh light con for her number one like i said uh cruising in the cell c uh, number two uh that if you want to uh, making a fast fast um uh march 7 it's gonna be this light comment absolutely in the night i'm using it uh by my uh personally and this light con is uh absolutely good man because uh if you see in here first it gives you a crit rate uh also uh lo um, the more speed you get the more uh you're gonna uh, uh get from this light con for basic attack uh, skill is kind of wasted but also crit damage for her ultimate uh it's kind of like uh but her basic attack that's one is really really good man you got a lot of damage from so basically this uh this uh light con is not really buffing the damage but it's overall really good for fast um mar 7 the next one is gonna be this man if you want to like a pure damage man without thinking too much about speed and break this is really really good man this light con is really really good i don't know man this light con should be illegal <laughs> first giving you a crit damage and there's another crit damage <laughs> if you are uh, debuffing the enemy after that man there's gonna be a uh, another damage and also ignoring defense and this is insane insane man but uh you need to build uh, her uh, at least uh, properly with a relic to have a uh, this uh, light con uh, works for you but overall this is really really good the the another light con that uh, may be uh, defeating this light con is this light con is the number two uh, for my uh viewpoint number one is gonna be facial light con it's not a uh, uh it's gonna, um, come out yet but once it's come out facial light con is gonna be the best one it's gonna be like a really really good light con man so if you're thinking ah oh, i i don't want to be a, a player who making speed a mart or like a damage based uh mart i want to making it a break one so you can you see this uh light con yeah i know maybe you want to using it on your butil but uh if you're not using butil you can put this light con on march man this light con is really really good man really really good man 60 break effect and also 
uh, ignoring uh, yeah defense. This one is really really good. I think that's it for uh, for like good yeah. So next one is gonna be talking about uh, trace. Uh, first thing first, you uh, you need to um, upgrading the the ability first. At least this two like uh, ability. Uh, this one, uh, sw Swan uh, Sword and Filigree. That's the two that I'm recommending uh, upgrading first. Uh, this one you can uh, upgrading it later, like a Tide Tamer. After you upgrading the ability, uh, the number one absolutely basic attack. After you upgrading basic attack, you upgrading the talent. After that, uh, these two uh, is up to you. But uh, from my uh, personal choice, I will upgrading uh, ultimate first. After that, you can upgrading skill. It's gonna be a buffing another uh, uh, the the shifu with the uh, speed. Uh, that's uh, probably for the uh, trace. And we're gonna, gonna go to the relic. In relic, uh, there is gonna be a lot of thing in here, but I will making it uh, uh, simplest, uh, simplistic. Uh, first thing first, that you don't want to doing it, to, to doing. First, don't build a uh, attack based relic. Don't build it because uh, she gonna be have a lot, a lot of attack from the trace. Like you can see, there's attack in here. There's attack. There's attack. There's attack. A bunch of attack. Just don't you build her with uh, attack based relic. And number two, don't make a follow up based relic because her follow up is kind of like more RNG based on how fast the rotation. So it's up to you if you want to using the follow up, but. Uh, Mars weapon, uh, like base damage is a uh, lie upon her enhanced basic attack, so uh, the follow up is not the best uh, thing for her. So that's the two uh, uh, relic uh, build that you don't want to uh, build for her. And number uh, the next one is gonna be a build that I'm not recommending, but you can using it if you want to. But I'm not recommending it. The first one is gonna be a uh, imaginary base relic. So, uh, because if you see in here, let's say in here, uh, if you put four, you need to uh, like uh, imprison the enemy first. So it's not really good. Uh, I'm using a uh, imaginary uh, in here because I have <laughs> good uh, good uh, relic in here, giving me uh, quite a bit of uh, speed. But uh, if you, if I don't have a speed on image this uh, imaginary relic, I I'm just gonna using this uh, relic. Uh, wait. Yeah, I will just using a dead water. So because uh uh later on maybe not now but later on you're gonna pair her with a good good DPS and a lot of buff a lot of thingy. It's gonna be absolutely uh insane if. The enemy is not being buffed. At least one uh, debuff. At least one debuff. So uh, for me, I will just using a uh, dead water in here. So yeah. Um. Okay. The next uh relic that uh, relic build that I'm not uh, recommending it. It uh, that is um here. Uh, break a uh, relic. So break well break. Relic is kind of like a uh, hit and miss. If you have a good support for the break, like a one way, a good uh, harmony tribalizer, maybe you can making it out. But it's still uh, the damage itself for her is not that high, and you need a lot of prerequisite, like uh, like I said before. It's it's kind of like uh, maybe. Uh, if you can making it out with a good relic, maybe, but I'm not uh, recommending it. I rather you seeing a dead water with a good uh, crit base and uh, you are good to go. And the, uh, this is the last, the last one for the relic. So uh, the relic that you want built for her, number one is crit base relic. It's up to you. 
as long as there's a good uh, grid in uh, in state or substate in here I'll, i'm just using that water but you can using another uh, relic uh, that giving you a lot of uh, grid so uh, maybe you're thinking why um why are you not like a break but you are uh, choosing more uh grid because grid is what make this character is really good maybe and then you can maybe thinking what am i what if i are using a break uh relics set and with a good uh good uh, grid uh you can use it uh doing it but you need to focus on grid uh itself not the break so this may be uh, built with uh, like a uh, crit, uh, crit, uh, crit slash break hybrid relic. You can making it out, but it's a bit tr tricky. Uh, and, and the last one is going to be damage based relic. So the relic that gives you a lot of damage, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah, with the damage. So uh, uh, for the body, maybe uh, okay. For build itself, for uh, every uh, set, first thing first for the body, probably is gonna be a crit rate. But if you have really, really, really good relic with a lot of uh, crit rate in substat, you can using a uh, crit damage because, like I said before, you just need around sixty to uh, sixty to seventy crit crit rate, and you are good to go. Build a lot of damage for her, a uh, crit damage for her. So. Yeah, maybe uh, you can using a crit damage too, uh, based on your relic. And for the fit, it's a uh, fit her, for her fit. Like I said before, this uh, character is uh, inherently uh, want to build as a fast character. Uh, like like you see, especially with her E1, she want to be as fast as possible. So for the fit, I suggest you to using speed. Uh, but if you can. If you are using like, for example, like a doctor ratio like con or facial like con, you can using attack instead and using another character like a Bronya or another uh, harmony character that can uh, pull up a uh, march from the queue. And the next one is gonna be a planar spear with attack a stat. Uh, because a uh, march seven uh, can choose. Who is the Sifu and following Sifu um, break uh, element? Let's say uh, the break element is fire. Uh, well, let's say you are using a, a, a character with a fire element. Uh, Marsepan can attacking an enemy with fire element. So it's uh, kind of wise to using attack instead of imaginary. But if you only have imaginary, you can using it for. Uh, time being and swapping it to attack uh, later on and last one this is a bit uh, tricky in here for a link rope uh, uh, basically you just need to using attack it, it generally attack is good but if you are uh, need some uh, break and you want to put her in the break team you can uh, swap uh, with swap this uh, relic with break one so yeah and I don't really uh, suggesting you using uh, energy regen. Uh, maybe in the future there is some kind of a uh, lifestyle that uh, can making it out because uh, of her uh, E4 that give you uh, some extra energy regen. Maybe you can using it. Yeah, and also with uh, what is it called. Mm -hmm. uh, with corn wreck you can making it of the energy is faster but i'm not recommending it oh yeah i, I forget about the planner for the planner uh it's up to you man for the planner it's up to you but i will suggest you using the one that uh buffing uh first uh damage you are don't want to a uh, uh, planner with a crit a lot of people uh saying a lot of crit but as long as you have a substat crit, like the crit rate uh, is not needed to be high high for her. Just good enough and you are good to go. So for the planner, I think I rather using 
a planet uh, set rather using damage than create one so in here i'm using uh yeah a glamot but you can using uh like another people side uh return arena but uh, yeah, especially if you don't have enough crit rate but yeah for me i rather using a uh, damage one so i think uh, there's gonna be another uh create or damage it's up to you but number one uh, always remember damage one but uh if you but if you don't have a uh, crit uh crit rate you can uh, just the crit rate to crit rate one so yeah i think that's it um the next one is gonna be oh for the idol on okay for the idol on then I, the first idol on for her is gonna be this idol on man the e2 is really really good it's gonna be making the rotation is faster with her follow-up also some buff it, it's quite it's quite good number two is her e1 surprisingly man surprise this one is making uh, her a bit faster for example uh, my build in here i i got a uh, 145 uh, 41 speed with her uh, e1 it's gonna be a uh, 151 and an, gonna be another uh, 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 speed from another character that can make this character reaching 161 which is a maximum uh, requirement for uh, this light con uh, for example like Huawei it Huawei e1 and one may uh, with yeah with one may one may and also maybe another character that can buff her speed so yeah e1 is a uh, quite good and the, the next one is gonna be e6 e6 is not buffing the uh, like i said not buffing the ultimate itself the ultimate still sucks but it's gonna be buffing the next enhanced basic attack and the last one is gonna be this e4 it's just giving you some uh, pipe energy it's not as good as uh, like kela thingy but it's uh, making uh, the energy more uh, energy regen is uh, faster a bit so i think uh, that's it i'm sorry uh, this video is a bit longer yeah it's long video but i hope this video is helpful so thank you so much if you like uh, this kind of content you can go to panglima kegelapan.star.page in there you can find all my social media and how to support me or just say hi when i'm live streaming next time so thank you so much and i will see you again next time See you again. Bye.